and there you see them, the United States Tag Team Champions, the Midnight Express, Randy Mulkey, Bill Mulkey, the opponents, and Jim Cornette Connell, looks a whole lot Mania. happier. Yeah. Mulkey Mania strikes, and look at this, man, they're using our moves. We patented that, we, in, we originated it, we invented it, uh -huh. and we also invented that one, brother. Let me tell you something, Mulkey Mania is struck. They're back from a triumphant tour of Florida, but the Midnight Express is back from a triumphant tour of the world with the U.S. Tag Team Champions were the greatest thing that anybody's ever seen. And look at that teamwork, the greatest, the best. And wait a minute, look at the legs on that Bill Mulkey. Last time I saw legs like that, they had a message tied around them, man. Oh, Jim, I was going to say you seem a whole lot happier now with belts on your shoulder. Oh, I, you know, this burden is so heavy, but somebody's got to carry it, you know, so it might as well be me. Woo! All right, Sweet Stan, do it to it, baby. Sweet Stan Lane, the sexiest athlete in professional sports. And the teamwork that we got is unlike any other tag team in wrestling with the U.S. Tag Team Champions. And whether it be the Rock and Roll Express, whether it be Armstrong and Horner, whether it be Ronnie Garvin, that maniac and Barry Windham, or any other team in professional wrestling, I want them to take note that the only pinnacle, the only goal that we haven't yet achieved is the World Tag Team title. And now that we got this stepping stone, believe me, we're going after that one and we're going to have it. And I know that Ronnie Garvin wants to do everything he can to try to put me out of action before then, because now that we've embarrassed him and Barry Windham, we would disgrace him if we were the World Tag Team Champions. So what's he trying to do? He and Jim Crockett trying to get me in more cage matches. Collusion, conspiracy, that's exactly what it is. Because look at the teamwork. Woo! I got a whole package of contracts in the mail last week from Jim Crockett Promotions wanting cage matches with me and Ronnie Garvin. Well, it's all in the news. Everybody's want to know who commits adultery these days. Well, I want to know who's committing forgery, and I think it's Jim Crockett because I never signed one of those contracts. But believe me, I've got these men honed. I've got them ready. Our teamwork is second to none now, and they're ready to take care of Ronnie Garvin. I don't care whether we got to put him in a rubber room or a hospital room. Make no difference. We are going to get rid of Ronnie Garvin before he can trap me in a cage because we all know what would happen to me if I got in a cage with him. Believe me, I've escaped him up till now, but it ain't exactly the easiest thing in the world to do to get away from that maniac. Okay. Sweet Stan had Bill Monkey there for the count. Again, he backed away. Beautiful Bobby did the same thing. Jim, they could have pinned him already, but they didn't do it. Sure, they could have pinned him, but it wouldn't have been as much fun that way. You see, beautiful Bobby coming off the top rope, the greatest athlete in the history of professional wrestling, and coming off the ropes. And Sweet Stan, he's our ground man, baby. You would not believe the things that Sweet Stan can do on a flat surface, brother. I guarantee you that. You ask anybody. He can do some amazing things. They are I wonder, fantastic I wonder if Jim Cornell would like to get rid of Ronnie Garvin because Ronnie Garvin and Barry Windham are a potent team uh, after that U.S. Tag Team and Championship. I don't care how potent that they are or how potent that they're not. It don't make any difference to me about how potent they are. What makes a difference to me is the fact that he wants to kill me. You know that. He wants to assassinate me. But the fact of the matter is that the Midnight Express are still better than they have ever thought about being. And that's why we're the champions, the U.S. champions, and that's why we're going to be the world champions. Regardless of what these rednecks out here have to say about it. Well, he can talk. Yeah, he can do that. Not only that. And of course, he, he's, he's got those two U.S. belts around his shoulder right here, and he holds them for his champions in the ring. Beautiful body, sweet stand. And until uh, they're beaten, they are the U.S. Ta tag well, team champions. Look at that. Monkey Mania is firing up tonight. You know something? These guys... I, I will give them credit. They take a classic beating. Well, Jim Cornette's mother was dissatisfied. She said, give me some champions. He did some championships, and he went out and did it. He did it. The U.S. champions, and now they got Mulkey. Bill Mulkey draped across that rope. Bobby had him with his throat across that rope, just choking him, and Cornette right down in his face. And it seems like they want to punish the opponents. Not only beat them, but try to punish them at this point. And that was a... Terrific clothesline by beautiful Bobby and Cornette. Don't Cornette's I look good with gold on my shoulder, Johnny Weaver, huh? Don't I look good with gold on my shoulder? Don't they look good with gold around their waist? I told all these rednecks we could do it. He may look good in the cage against Ronnie Garvin also. He wouldn't look good when he came out of that cage, I don't think. But uh, regardless, his team is a very, very exciting team. Very good. They've been World Tag Team Champions. Now the U.S. Tag Team Champions. And as Cornette says, and he usually gets the... Uh, what he says, they're going to be World Tag Team Champions. Johnny Weaver, somebody shot you full of tranquilizers tonight, didn't they? You're sitting here, you're all laid back. You look, that's a nice looking outfit. It's amazing what they can do with cheap material. But get excited about these men. Get excited about my team. Aren't they great, huh? Go ahead, tell the people how great they never mind. I'll 
don't tell them how great they are because you and Bob Caldwell can't do it. Columbia School of Broadcasting used you for a bad example. I'm going to say this right now. The Mokies are just like the Rock and Roll Express. They're just like Armstrong and Horner, some of these other punk teams. They can't get it through their heads that it's useless. They can't beat the Midnight Express. You see the Rock and Roll Express, they ain't got no belts. Our old nemesis, and they're mad, they're upset, they're jealous. But if they want to get in the ring with the Midnight Express, we're going to teach them what it's like to be a rock and not to roll, because the only thing they're going to roll is over, brother. The heart of rock and roll is still beating, but I think it needs a bypass. Pokey right through the ropes out of the ring. Down and Cornette floor. right above him here on the floor. Cornette's fanning him, giving him a little air with that tennis racket. Oh, yeah, he could put anything by hard. him. Go on, Cornette's going to do it. Three stab, and into the rail, and over the rail goes a monkey out on the concrete floor. Can you believe that? They're just like everybody else that wrestles the Midnight Express. Every time you get a chance, they're trying to run away from us. Did you see that? He took a flying leap trying to run away from the Midnight Express. I can't believe it. That's yeah, sweet stand, helping that him back some in. That has some courage. I tell you what we're going to do. We are going to make this right here a United States Tag Team title match. If they win this match, then they can be the United States Tag Team champions. Ain't that kind of big of me? Because I'm a big kind of guy. Well, you can tell he's got a heart of gold, can't you, Johnny? I've got a heart of platinum gold for cheapskate. Oh, bad move by Mookie. He could lose it right here. That Carnet almost. <laughs> he well, almost had his team out of the way. Well, that was he a, almost had a heart attack there when Mookie rolled up Stan. A terrific move, and Stan... A little bewildered, but gets out and gets composure again, and here's Bobby in now, and he's going to take over. Fine move again by Mokey. Over, Bobby. Here's Stan. Oh. Oh. Uh, hey, we're about a step ahead of him. That's what makes champions, and that's why the, the Midnight Express are champions. They're about that's a step exactly ahead of right, Mokey. Every time they think they know all the answers, we change all the questions. And right here, we patented it. We originated it, the double goozle. And brother, that can mess some people up bad. And that's what any tag team in wrestling's got in store for them when they face the Midnight Express. The double goozle. And the double goozle. Put Randy Mulkey right out. And brought a victory for the United States Tag Team Champion. The double goozle as Jim Cornette uh, called it. And look at Cornette. He in the ring now. He is extremely excited and happy about his team. And I know he's happy that his mother's got those belts back on the team. Here we're going to see it again in slow motion. That's What's Cor the timing on this, Johnny? It's just perfect. I always as like he's going to get to his feet. He's going to get hit from the front and the back at the same time. I like the time, timing of the double drop kick of the Rock and Roll Express. Look at this beautiful timing. Both men in position, and they put away their opponent with what Jim Cornette called a double Google. The winners, United States Tag Team Champion, beautiful Bobby and Sweet Stan Lane, the Midnight Express. All right, and now 